What's going on, Reject Nation? Greg here. We got a John and Olivia. We're here today to watch The Boys, episode one of season two. I'm just say this off the bat, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get notified when our next reaction for The Boys is up here on the channel. With the way YouTube works, we can only allow 10 minutes worth of the footage from the show to be included. So this is gonna qualify as reaction highlights. Full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for The Boys will be available over at our Patreon page. Speaking of of which we cover a lot of TV shows. We're at the same tier. We have the option for watch along and reaction highlights included for many of shows. And those shows are Supernatural, Doctor Who, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The Promised Neverland, Attack on Titan, Death Note, My Hero Academia, Code Geass, Hana Hana, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Violet Evergarden, Demon Slayer. And we also got a weekly Q&A podcast and there are many shows where we only do watch alongs for them. So guys, really appreciate if you can show your support and become a patron jack today. Last but not least, I do want to give a shout out to Eric at Nerd Chronic, who is like the main editor for the movie trivia Schmodown, has edited for us in the past. He's gonna be editing the highlights for us. Big love to that guy. Check out his podcast wherever podcasts are found. Let's get into this. <laughs> oh, oh, so oh early God. in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 Immediately went for his cash <laughs> phrase. <laughs> oh snap. Okay. Oh, that was oh. a great cut. Translucent. Ugh. Murdered in cold blood. <laughs> Cartel secretaries. El Diablo. <laughs> oh my god. You don't even need anything again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the lights turn. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Major Glory. Oh my god. So gosh. she is still part of the seven. Okay, I thought she would have been caught by now. Hey, that's my shoulder. What? Hey, that's my right shoulder. <laughs> that's my fucking shoulder. <laughs> Isn't she the best? Isn't she the best? You both have. <laughs> so Lander looks miserable. <laughs> Lander especially just looks like fucking like he's Look how exhausted up. he looks. Yeah. See <laughs> so a plane in the sky? It was a reference to season one. Did you snap the SIM card? Yes, I will yes. not recognize I her. the SIM card, okay? And <laughs> she's ugly now. She has no makeup on. <laughs> yeah, you um you look good too. You look very, you know. Uh I'm tired. Yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> like you just said. <laughs> Are you stalking me on Instagram? No. No, of course not. Get over yourself. You're fucking you at the, the awards and you're no, taking your public face. photos. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Huey, I just. Where's Butch? Oh. You think this is fun? Oh, gosh. You think water's supposed to be fun? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> you think water's supposed to be fun? <laughs> it's dark and it's cold. I know you. Yeah, you're Hawkeye. Royal Raven. Oh. Raven. <laughs> this eagle. Eagle the archer. You're way off. Aww. <laughs> Raven wing. You build me out. Because even heroes need a hand once in a while. Come on. Even if they don't remember your damn name. <laughs> Boy! Trap you, dumb bird. Well, <laughs> bollock <shit. laughs> Bollock shit. And why was Madeline Stillwell's baby found safe in a yard 17? Ah! Baby's alive. Guys, we get some compound V. We we bring it to the New York Times. Oh, we burn vodka. They were gonna say, they were gonna use that compound. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. We could get some. Someone could help us get it. And who might that be? <gasps> they don't know. They don't know. LaCroix so sponsorship. Much, my man. So much sparkling water in this episode. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, drink it. Don't oh, drink no. it. Drink it, Homelander. Oh, no, Homelander. Remember what she tasted like. <laughs> oh, no. Drink it. Oh, you disappoint me, Homelander. He's warming it up. Oh, yeah. You're my <laughs> man, Homelander. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 
Titty residue. Gross. This is pretty gross. Oh, my God. I was, uh... When oh, full support, oh, oh, I can do it that way. Oh my god, oh, stop! Oh. God damn it, Homer. Oh, never mind, I changed my mind. This is disgusting. <laughs> Laser her. It's blind spot, right? A differently abled member of the seven. And then I can Smart. find an ethnic or female or fingers crossed. An, an ethnic! ethnic. To replace oh, the demon. Oh, oh, ethnic or female? Ethnic female! <laughs> Love it. Hold on. You can tell it's me. <laughs> wow. What do you mean? He's, I think he's blind. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Usually I'm the last one to get that. Is this gonna be a racist? <laughs> <laughs> what happens if? Oh no. Um, it's I don't know. I do this. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Oh! In no fucking way do you decide who goes in the seven. I decided. Oh man, I thought Homelander was actually excited about having it. <laughs> he had me going. Coming this fall. Go ahead. Did I? Are you gonna pay for that? Oh wow, some hero you are creating property damage. Wow. Um, do you want me to uh, saw or chop or? Whatever floats your boat, Tiger. <laughs> Four hundred dollars for that? You can make so much more money on OnlyFans. Ew. 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 I, I, I'd keep the arm, right? I'll just keep it refrigerated. Uh huh. Cool. Wow. For an extra grand, I'll let you chop off my dick. <laughs> oh come on, do it. Where's the closest date? Yeah. Yeah. What ATM will give you a grand? <laughs> I've been looking forward to meeting you, Deep. Would you like a fresco? What is what fresco here? Thank you. And what are you, a therapist or something? No. <laughs> no, therapy's very destructive, actually. Scientology. You could say I'm his teacher. Carol really helped me, Deep. No, thank you. Help you get back into the seven. Ooh. Uh, Ooh, incentive. I love it more than Anything in life. What? It's a cult. It's, it's Scientology. Call Annie. <laughs> Call Annie. They're praying that you do that. Good point. Uh, that's a really good point. Now what you don't want to do is tell them, Huey. You fucking called them. No, no, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Okay. I don't know about that. Oh, that was not gonna be. Text I texted her. her. Ah! And then we met up, but we're getting some compound V. They could be watching us right fucking now! You've been walking around for days like you want to kick my ass. So do it already. Ooh, ooh. You are not a soldier. You're not a spy. <laughs> You're just a kid that sells stereo equipment. No, I don't. I lost my job. I don't have a job. So maybe I can't be Lee Marvin. Sure you can. But I could be Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, you know, John Connor or, 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 or what's her name from uh, the Hunger Games? Katniss. Katniss. <laughs> Here I go, you guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, FYI, not a real base. I'm the new girl. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, she's oh. officially part of it. Hi, I'm in the seven. Oh my. Replacing translucent. God bless his soul. Ashley, you're gonna get killed! Who delivered the good news? Oh, uh, Mr. Edgar, the big guy? Wonderful. Oh, is that, uh, Great. Giancarlo? Yeah. All right. Whoa, Mr. Edgar, for real? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks Dawn like... <laughs> it does look like it's the fucking Snyder shit. <laughs> Deputy Director, I know this might not be the best time to ask, but do you ever... Hear about your family? Your daughter is uh, starting soccer, I think. I've moved in with them. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Huey. Okay, so give me just Appreciate you looking out. Guy. You're my best right. friend. Uh, about 5'10", 165. I've been trying to put this puzzle together, and there's a missing piece, and it's been driving me nuts, and I think you just handed it to me. Wait, what are you talking about? Why would she share this with them? 
Uh, oh no. Man, your nose. Oh! 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 oh my! <laughs> wow! What do you know about Frederick Vaught? Such the rising young star that in 39, Hitler appointed him chief physician at Dachau. Oh, great, great background. <laughs> when Oppenheimer was flailing with the bomb, Dr. Vault already had practical applications of compound B tested in the field. Wow. Heroes, like Soldier Boy, killing Germans by the dozen. And he became as wonderbred American as Disney and Edison. <laughs> and you are not our most valuable asset. That Ooh. would be our Ooh. confidential formula for compound V, which you, man child that you are, released into the wild. Ooh. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I appreciate your tone, sir. Not much at all. There's got to be a reason why he's not scared of him. While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we are busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. Ooh, I like him. I know. It's John Carlos. He's good at everything. It's me. What? Jesus, you shouldn't be calling it. I'm on a burner phone. Special mother's milk with him. Huey, we did it. He's getting me the compound V in like a day or two. Oh my no. god. Just take a beat. Let's figure out the best way to do this. Why? What happened? Nothing. Bot's just dangerous, that's all. I mean, I You still have your head, right? You still, oh, have, like, you still, you still have your head? Exploded on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just want to take our time, you know, do this right. That's all. Uh, Dad. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth, Huey. I kind of lived with it every single day. Ah, uh, stop guilting him. Don't lie to me. Not again. All right, tell her the truth. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, oh swear God. To God. Swear to, there is no God. Swear to me. Huh? Oh, it's gonna be Butch. It's definitely Butcher. It's gotta be Butch. It's 100% Butcher. Oh, right. ah. easy does it, lads. Ah. Easy does it. <laughs> you called him. I'm sorry, but you is not a game now. But don't you worry. Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're gonna suspect he's responsible for Rainer. How did he know about it? Uh, maybe it's all over the news that she's dead. It's the deputy director of the CIA. Oh, he's so jealous. Oh, Ooh. shit. All right, guys, so first episode is complete. What did everyone think? I had a blast. I mean, especially coming out of season one, this felt like a direct continuation of all that momentum. So. A blast. Get it? Because <laughs> things got blasted. Yes, a few now things. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> we saw season one when it first came out. We haven't revisited it, so there's fortunately a recap at the top of this. And I remember most of the things that are happening here. I'm wondering, whoever this new girl is, Stormfront. We did see a trailer, and I'm not 100% sure my memory's not serving me correct. I keep wondering if she's gonna be a bad guy. Like she's, the way they set her up, it's kind of this like goody two shoes. They got John Carlo Esposito here who uh, I always love. And when he was first starting to speak, I was like, he's gonna be exactly like how he is and better call Saul Breaking Bad because it seems like the kind of role where you can be, but he's not. He's definitely have, bringing that same type of villainous aspect to him, but you know, much more of a corporate presence. I loved his scene that he gets with Homelander when he's talking down to him. Mm -hmm. And there's something about it where I'm like, oh, does he have some type of power, this guy, that's more than just corporation power control over Homelander? I feel like it might be a little bit of a cop out if he does have superpowers, because I actually love the idea of Homelander feeling a bit submissive to him, even- just because of leverage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that kind of abuse and would not having actual physical powers to overtake him I think is great but there's still so much to explore that I, mean, I feel like they're really just like the setup that they're doing here yeah. is that the boys themselves are fugitives it's an interesting season two to pick up from because sometimes with season twos it could feel like all right what's the tale we're telling for this season what's the new chapter 
Yeah, and this just feels like we're picking up right where we left off and continuing that exact story, you know? Yeah. And the first season was one of those examples of a show that I watched that really felt like one continuous movie. A lot more than uh, some other shows I've seen. And this definitely felt like, yeah, we're just going to continue on with the story. And it's nice to have that level of momentum and it gets you really excited for, like, I figured they would bring Butcher in at the very end, but it, like, builds you up for, like, oh, when's he going to come back? Where's that tension? Because I'm kind of used to getting access to him. And yeah, just to be back around with everybody. Like, I, I loved uh, his, their rapport is, is so great together, <laughs> just the boys in general. I'm um, curious to see if he's going to tell them about what he found out about Becca and Homelander. Where has he been this whole time? What, what happened after that? What's with no. the leisure suit? Uh, yeah. Maybe him, Homelander, Becca... And the boy, they were, just, they, they were, they were domesticated for a while. <laughs> yeah, polyamorous. I'll change my mind on soups. <laughs> the best, they're the best lays you've ever had. Best lay. I get what my wife left me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, guys, it's like 110 degrees in it's here right now. I'm not, it's not even an exaggeration. It's still it's still so hot. hot. So if we seem a little bit like agitated, it's because like. Still like, summertime. This is a California heat wave is really getting to us. Man, I love the addition too of uh, the gecko guy and the whole like S&M hooker thing selling body parts. I think that's fascinating and honestly what people would do in Sonoma. I feel like if I had a superpower like that, for sure I'd be like on OnlyFans to be like, pay me a thousand dollars, buddy. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's part of the beauty of this show is they do their best to make it feel like if superheroes existed and how they tried to monetize them, what would the world be like? Like, something as small as that is such a realist, not, I don't know, not realistic, but a grounded addition. Putting it in this world of, yeah, this is what would happen if someone had this power. And if I was the customer, I'd totally chop that guy's dick off. I'm <laughs> just saying, I would. I'm pretty surprised they killed off that CIA. I'm so shocked. Yeah. They killed her off. One scene she gets. <laughs> One scene. And, and I was so comforted. Boom. I, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, they still have someone on their side. <laughs> nope, not anymore. <laughs> She's gone. Just like, anything goes this season, guys, right away. <laughs> and that's a great way to start the season off, yeah, is, is take away one of our safeguards, give us a really huge moment to do it in, and then, yeah, make us question where we can go from here. Because it seems like even, too, the Starlight connection with Huey, they're setting it up for more strain this season. I mean, they ended the last one being like, no, 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 trust, no more secrets. And clearly, that's not going to fly here again. I get weary of those things. Like, I hope that they're able to make their drama, both within the action and interpersonal, feel True. nuanced in the season because yeah. I can definitely, uh, I warily can get the sense that maybe they'll just go back and forth on, oh, he keeps lying, but oh, they want to make it work, but uh, maybe they won't. And, oh, that's boring. Oh. I hope yeah. they take yeah. it someplace bold because one of the yeah. things that this show is great at is surprising me with things I think characters will or won't do. The moments that really stood out to me the, the most are stuff with like home, I mean, anytime Homelander's on screen, he just steals the show. All they need to do is cut to him. <laughs> yeah. off, though. I feel like it's such a stark contrast from the first season where he's still look kind of put together in charge and here it yeah. is like from the first scene you're like oh what yeah Ooh. and sometimes it was like that actor looks tired <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not. character yeah totally get him he's really great at playing insincerity yeah, yeah. i know he's he's fantastic at that i mean that scene with uh, the blind spot character oh, which God. is like bash that dude's head he's very attractive too who Homelander. Homelander, you think so? 100%. Really? <laughs> They're really... I'm like, ooh, the more evil you are. <laughs> <laughs> there is something attractive about that. Right? Just... Like that, that confidence he exudes. I'm like, mm. I just love the power that he exudes. Like, he puts Ashley in charge of to fill the position of Madeline. Madeline was in charge. That was her position. And she had a leverage over him. Yeah, and then, but that is not the way it is now. Like, the second that Stormfront character showed up, I was like, oh no. He's gonna yeah. totally annihilate Ashley. Did you see Ashley? Yeah. I, 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 I don't know what to do about this. Yeah. I didn't know it. But that's a great writing mechanism tool to to showcase, though, that like, okay, if Ashley made this call, she'd be dead. But the fact that Giancarlo's making this call, the Homelander's not gonna touch that guy. Yeah. You know, it's like Giancarlo seems like the real big baddie of this season in some way. You know, by the way, he is the head of the corporation who's doing all this. Can you remind me why is Huey so anti Butcher right now, though? He seems like really. Really, like, I don't know. They seem I, to have I, a big problem with one another, yeah. I know they had like that, a big, I don't remember clearly, they ha 
had like a dispute at the end of last season and they had like a falling, Butcher was being a total dick. So anti-Butcher yeah. right now and I'm not picking up exactly why. Part of what I took from that is just, yeah, like, yeah, he seems to have abandoned us and we haven't heard from him. People have tried calling him. Nobody knows where he is. And at this point, you know what? We just have to move on. Like we don't need him. Can't just rely on him, obviously, because no one knows where he is. Th there might be more to it or a better reason than that, but that's kind of what I Felt thought. Felt jealousy too, because there were moments where he was like, you're not the leader. Mm. And then when Butcher comes back, he kind of gets that look of, oh, now I've, because he's been trying to be the leader. Like now yeah. he knows he can't take that position. And Butcher's know. the main anti-Starlight Huey, you know, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Kimiko seems like she's going to be a character who really grows into her own this time around. Already, she seems like she has more personality. Yeah. And she does she so has, much She wears so makeup little. now. That's right. Yeah, she wears makeup. She's not just a she's dirty all looking that girl. Yeah. Spread across her face. Yeah. <laughs> that but scene I, with Starlight taking off her makeup, and I'm just staring in the mirror like, oh, I'm hideous. I'm like, you look exactly you look the better. same. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? You look, look better than when you were all dolled up <laughs> for the funeral. This relationship with Starlight and Huey does make a lot of sense going off the trajectory of last season. I don't know if it's just because I, I, it's been a long time since I saw season one, but I did currently find myself, like, I think both actors are doing a, just a, a perfectly fine job. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I'm like, I don't really care as much about what's going on yeah. with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I really care about everything. I care like about Mother Mother's Milk getting back with his wife and daughter. Kimiko, Frenchie, I really care about them with this whole thing with like Huey and Starlight. I'm not like bummed that they're not yeah. together. I'm not like, which, oh, which is I really weird because I, I, I was so endeared by it in season one. Yeah. Uh, yet uh, this time around, I'm like, no, uh, you know, they're, they're not doing anything wrong. I just, uh, everything I, else is just so much more interesting right now. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't get exactly like a distinct moment or something that clued me into, yeah, where the season was going to take that. So it's kind of flailing at the moment. Yeah. I seem in, in like a limbo of mistrust. Yeah, I'm at that crossroads where like I can see this if they take, yeah, if they do something bold or if they make a big choice with it, I can see it definitely working out. This is just the pitfall plot line that I think shows can run into where they get wishy-washy and they waffle on the yeah. back and forth. And and the problem is, yeah, if we don't care as much, that's not going to be as impactful. So I really do hope that they are able, and like they make, they justify it, obviously, because they can't, they're being watched by everybody. It's super risky for them to have any contact, but at the same time, you know, I was really rooting for them, yeah, in season one. And I would yeah. like to feel, because the show gets so cynical and so pitch black dark at certain points, I like having that contrast somewhere. What do you think about the Hawkeye guy? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. What is his story? I, I'm very Fresca. curious. Fresca. Uh, fresca. He's a fresca. What is with all the fresca? Fresca must have paid a lot of money for this. And of course. Yeah. Jeez Louise. More than La Croix pays. I haven't yes. drank a fresca since I was like seven. <laughs> I think that's, I mean, that storyline seems like it's going to all be going to support the deep storyline. Maybe that's his arc this season. Maybe he rehabilitates. <laughs> <laughs> There's something that's like, it's it's weird. The first episode you get with the deep in season one, you're just like, man, the hell with this oh, guy. Yeah. Screw him. I don't like him, but there's something so it's, funny about watching so it be so pathetic. Yeah. And miserable yeah. and such a loser, you know. What he deserves. <laughs> yeah. And he can't he can't win so much that even like his animal powers always go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he is the ultimate womp womp character. I guess what I find really impressive about for a season for an episode one of a season two. You know, a lot of times when you do a season two, you can see like that actor looks a little different. This guy looks different. The quality looks different. This looks better. And other than like the first couple shots of Homelander, I feel like they shot this right after they were done shooting season yeah. one. It doesn't look like they lost any time. And I feel like from a production standpoint, that's a very impressive touch to have on your show. Because a lot of times you can tell that difference and hear them like, this doesn't look any different. I feel like I'm just continuing season one. Yeah, you know, they had this hint with uh, Carol, Carol's wife. Um, if you guys don't know, Carol is uh, Ross's uh, ex-girlfriend on Friends, ex-wife turned lesbian. Is that who plays the therapist? And then, uh, yeah, the, the Carol's <laughs> Carol's uh, wife. Um, what was her name? You know, for a Friends enthusiast, I'm surprisingly oh, blatant like, on this. You're yeah. not going to win the 50000 <laughs> The girl that ends up marrying Carol. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is in the same universe as Friends. It's well. in yeah. the same universe as Friends, gotcha. Breaking Bad. Baby's going to come out taking the yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Judge Dredd. Yeah. You know, Butch will become yeah. Dredd. I really seem like it's going to turn into some type of Scientology dig. 
Yeah. Especially with the clear cut line of like, therapy's yeah. not good for you, yeah, or whatever she said. Therapy's destructive. Yeah. And it's a very Scientology the, bottom line. Yeah. Like, I'm a teacher or something. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a teacher, but it's still about self improvement and all these things yeah. and finding yourself. It, it, it does seem to be a spin on Scientology yeah. specifically, which, you know, it's never too late to take jabs at Scientology. <laughs> you know, there's always time. They, hey. they took a lot of digs at Christianity last season. Yeah. So now let's take digs at Scientology. And, and more <laughs> breast milk. More breast milk. Oh, Gotta, Gotta get more breast Gotta get more breast milk. Yeah. How do you film that scene? Yeah. Is the question. Is oh, it was real, real breast milk. Uh, yeah. yeah. Dude, that Homelander actor is amazing. Yeah, he's, he's really good. He's such a captivating actor. Every time he's on screen. Are you guys curious about the new soup terrorist? Oh, yeah. Who flipped the boat over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Origami. Yeah. Definitely curious. Although, it's funny. Like, w without anything to go on except for like his shoes and what he was wearing How tall according he to mother's milk. Right, yeah. right. I was like I almost got that lost amid other things that sure. were happening in the in the episode yeah. but uh yeah if they're coming on our home turf you know yeah. it seems like it'll definitely make a mess of things. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys well boys season 2 episode 1 what'd you think? Leave your thoughts down below, subscribe, click that bell to get notified when our next reaction is up. Oh and last but not least I gotta shout out my homeboy, Eric Horstman, who I think watches this show. For my birthday, he got Richard Spate from Supernatural, and since, you know, Eric Kripke hired Richard Spate for Supernatural, he got Richard Spate for Supernatural to give me a special birthday shout out, which I really appreciate a lot. There is no proper way to describe my love and enthusiasm, how much of a support he has been in more ways than one. Yeah. Um, sp specifically my way too. He gave Olivia and I this beautiful blanket to honor our uh, recently passed squirrel, Ricky. I love you, buddy. You've been absolutely amazing. You're one of the boys around here, huh? <laughs> you're one of the boys with the, you're Kimiko. You're Huey. Uh, I, yeah, I, I know. The real question though, would you let Eric chop your dick off? Yes, I'm not I the would. gecko guy. The so? I would let Eric. <laughs> I would so. let Eric uh, uh, stick off. No one's assuming he'll grow back for you, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Saying, I mean, if he asked, you kind of owe it to him. <laughs> All right, guys, it's super hot. Thanks, buddy.